Why do chickens either slow down or stop producing eggs entirely? There's a lot of different answers to that question. So today we're gonna to talk about nine reasons your chickens aren't laying eggs. It's important to find out why your chickens aren't laying eggs, so that way we can better understand how to get them laying eggs again. We're gonna start out with some straightforward and relatively easy reasons to fix, but then I saved number nine for last because it's the most common reasons that your chickens aren't laying eggs, and there's a whole lot to be said about it. Let's go ahead and jump into reason number one, and that is stress. Stress can be a huge trigger for your chickens to stop laying eggs. Stress can come in a whole lot of different forms. One of those would be, let's say, a predator attack. Let's say you had a raccoon or a fox or something get into your coop or even try to get into your coop and it really stressed your chickens out. That can stop your chickens laying for months at a time. Other things could be even just a small change in the coop. If you get into your coop and really clean it out really well, that could stress your chickens out enough to make them stop laying eggs. Or maybe you moved or maybe you have a lot of city sounds in your neighborhood and it's new to them. Maybe a change in temperature, whether that be hot or cold, extreme in either direction will make them stop laying. And another big one would be new chickens in the flock. New chickens in the flock can really stress the birds out. Any of these things could stress your birds out enough to make them stop laying for however long they're stressed out for. <laughs> So if your chickens aren't laying eggs right now, think about to when they stopped laying eggs. Was there a triggering moment or any kind of event that happened that might have stressed them out to where they don't want to be laying eggs right now? A lot of times these aren't things that you can really fix. I mean, you can make their home as peaceful and stress-free as possible, but I mean, there's not really a whole lot you can do other than just give them some space and let them chill out and calm down a little bit and relax. Let them work through it. Overall, with some stress triggers, there's not a lot you can do. But let's say you had a predator attack. If you had a predator attack, go secure your coop a little better, especially if the predator actually got into your coop or into your run or killed any your birds, make sure you're securing that coop really, really well so it doesn't happen again. I know for us, we have a lot of sounds. We have dogs that live at our house. We have dogs that live next door, but the biggest one we have is we live right next to an Air Force base. So we have F-35s that are flying by constantly. And there's a lot of times that I have to stop filming because you can't even hear me through the microphone because it's so loud. But that's stuff that they get used to over time. It's not something that you can just snap your fingers and hope everything's okay. The number two reason is gonna be their age. Your hen's best year of laying is gonna be their first year the jets I was just talking about. <laughs> Every year that your hens are getting older, you're gonna see a decrease in production. It might only be 10, 20% a year. There's a chart, I'll be putting it right here. There, you might only be 10 or 20% a year, but over time that's gonna add up. And if your flock is all the same age, you're really gonna see a decrease in your egg production by the time they are five, six, seven, eight years old. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. If you see a slowing in production, it might be their age. One thing you can always do if you have the space, not everybody has the space, but if you do have the space, get one or two chicks every single year to kind of add to your flock. And that's gonna keep that younger population of chickens in your flock to keep giving you eggs. That's what we do here every year. We get a couple chicks, especially mainly for the kids, but we get a couple chicks and that way we keep having our eggs coming no matter how old the rest of our hens are. I will say that we keep our hens for the entirety of their life. We don't harvest them for meat. They are our pets. They are family at this point and we would never be able to use them for meat. But I will say if you are using your birds as a food source, if that's the source of food that you need, then maybe think about growing some meat birds so that way you can have your hens that are laying and then you can harvest them after a couple years and then replace the flock with some new birds and that will also keep the egg production high. That's not for everybody, but it is for a lot of people because a lot of people they use their chickens as a huge source of food for us we don't need we don't need the chicken we just need the eggs number three reason is going to be if a chicken is sick or injured it is not going to be producing eggs and rightfully so if you are sick or injured are you going to want to be doing anything that's strenuous on your body no you're going to want to lay in bed and relax and just kind of make yourself better same thing is going to be with chickens if the chicken is sick injured in any way whatsoever they are most likely not going to be laying eggs so if you do see a decrease in your egg production this it's definitely a good time to go through your flock and kind of give them all once over and make sure that they're all healthy birds. There's a lot of different things you can be looking for to make sure that they're okay. And one of those is gonna be, let's say feather loss, extreme feather loss. And I'm say, talking outside of a molt because molting is different. But if you have feather loss outside of like the late summer, early fall range, then it's a pretty good possibility that your bird is sick and it's not just molting. If you have tired or just generally inactive birds, maybe you wanna check those birds out, make sure that they're healthy. Chickens are supposed to be active. They're supposed to be up and eating and drinking and you know doing all the chicken things. <laughs> And another thing you can check is their eyes. Sometimes if a bird is sick, their eyes will get goopy and gross or they'll get really dull. And those are also things you can be looking for. I mean, ruffled feathers, droopy wings, uh, birds laying down. I wanna specify here because a lot of times my birds will lay down when they're giving themselves a dust bath. So they'll kind of like lay down and just flop around in the dust. But then as soon as they're done actually like bathing themselves, they just kind of lay there in the dust because it's nice and warm and it's comfortable for them. So make sure you separate that. But if a bird is like inside the coop laying down, and I'm not talking like sitting, I'm talking actually like laying down on the side. <laughs> 
that stuff you want to be looking for. Another one is going to be like, let's say a bird is limping. If there's a lot of times, you know, bumblefoot and stuff like that, that's all really easy things to get. So let's say a bird, you know, jump off its roost and hurt its foot. That's also going to be something that's going to make it stop laying. So those are all going to be red flags to tell you that there might be something going on in your flock. The number four reason is actually going to be hidden eggs. So sometimes you might think that your birds aren't laying, but realistically they're just hiding their eggs from you. <laughs> and this is something I didn't really know a whole lot about until it was this year. We got a couple, we got a whole bunch of chicks this year. And as they started to lay, they wouldn't lay in the nesting boxes. They would lay everywhere else. So it was almost like an Easter egg hunt. Every time we'd come out here with the kids, <laughs> they'd have to get in there and check behind the, the feeder and the water. And they'd have to look under the roost and then go out into the run and kind of dig around. And they would put their eggs everywhere except for the nesting box. And a lot of times if they find a specific place they like, they will continue to lay there. So let's say they find a little corner in the side of the yard or the side of the run. If that's the spot they like, then that's where they're going to keep laying. So it might be that your birds are laying. They're just not laying where you want them to lay. So kind of do a good inspection. Make sure that you check everything and that there's no eggs sitting around in your coop, roost, or yard anywhere. If you do find some out in the yard or somewhere they're not supposed to be and you're like, oh wow, maybe I am getting eggs, just not in the right spot. There are things you can do to kind of help your birds start laying in the nesting boxes. The first one is going to be make sure you're cleaning out your nesting boxes like once a week. You want to make sure you're filling it with either wood shavings or straw, something nice and fluffy, put it in the nesting box, make sure it's clean. And that's going to help those birds want to get into the nesting box. Another thing you can do is maybe take some of those eggs that you're finding and put them in the nesting boxes. If they are seeing eggs in the nesting boxes, especially if they're the younger chickens, there's a pretty good chance that they will recognize where those are and start laying in there instead. Chickens are habitual. So once they start laying eggs in a specific spot, they're going to want to keep laying there. And it can be a hard habit to break. A lot of times chickens are going to be laying in the early mornings. So another thing you can do is you can actually just keep your coop door closed in the morning so they can't be getting out. Let them lay inside the coop and then open that door and let them come out. It's easier said than done. Obviously, it's kind of a lot of work, especially if you don't have like an automatic door. We have an automatic door in ours and we love it. I'll leave a link for that down in the description. But if you don't have an automatic door, you can still just go out there and open the door a little bit later than you normally do in the mornings. Keep the birds inside the coop. So that way it limits their area that they can be laying. You also need to make sure you have enough nesting boxes. If you have too many chickens and not enough nesting boxes, then I mean, pecking order, that's a real thing. They're not going to be all sharing one nesting box. You want to at least have one nesting box for every four birds. If you have less than that, go get some more nesting boxes. That may help those birds start laying in the nesting box. Also, if you've recently changed the style or the type of box that you have, or even taking taken out one box and replaced it with a clean box, anything like that. If you change their nesting box, that can also trigger them to stop laying. That's not their normal, you know, nest. That's something completely new. So that it takes them a while to get used to that being their nest. Number five reason your chickens might not be laying eggs is you might have a broody hen. Maybe instead of just not getting eggs at all, maybe you're just getting less eggs. For us, this is what was happening with us. And when we would go out to, to check for eggs, we would go in there and there was always one bird that we had just laying on the eggs and she would never get off. So there would be 10 eggs underneath this chicken and we would go in to get these eggs out. She would yell at us. She would peck at us. She did not want to get off these eggs. We would literally have to like reach under her and she would start pecking at her hands and stuff. And we'd have to hurry up and sneak all those eggs out because she wanted those eggs eggs to hatch. That is the only thing she was focused on. When you have a broody hen, they will not be laying because they already have the eggs that they want to incubate. They already have the eggs they want to sit on. They don't want to lay anymore. All they are focused on is hatching out some chicks. Even if those eggs aren't fertilized, that's still all they want to do. They just want to sit on those eggs until they hatch. This can be a tougher one to stop that bird from being so broody. But one thing you can do is you can make sure you're clearing out your eggs often. Go out there every single day and make sure you pull all the eggs out because if there's no eggs for her to lay on, then she'll be less inclined to have that in her head that she needs to be sitting on those eggs. If you catch her early on, like the first day or two, as soon as she starts feeling broody, what you can do is you can start pulling her out of that nest. This is kind of a tough one because if you catch it really early on, it's something you can break her of. Just pull her out of the nest, you know, put her out in the run, just take her away from that nest that she's trying to sit in. But this doesn't work after the first few days because after the first few days, it is just dead set in her head that she wants to hatch those eggs. And that's not something that just removing her is going to change. One thing you can do is you can physically block her from getting into the nest. Over time, that's going to break her of that broodiness. But this, this is kind of hard because if you have a chicken coop full of chickens and you can't just block one chicken from the nest. So sometimes you might have to remove that bird and put them in a temporary coop if that's available to you. <laughs> if, if at all possible, just removing her from the coop in general, give it a couple days 
days, give it a week, and then put her back in, and hopefully that broodiness is broken. Or, hear me out, if she isn't stopping the other birds from laying, let's say you have four nesting boxes, and she's taking over one. If she isn't stopping the other birds from laying, just let her be broody. I mean, my wife prides herself on being a good mom, rightfully so. She's the best mom in the world. She prides herself on that, so when we had our broody hen, she was so lit up. That was her favorite chicken. She just wanted to go out and sit in the sit in the chicken coop with the chicken. She was loving on it because she was like, oh my gosh, it's a, she just wants to be a good mom. That's all she wants. Just let them, let them be broody. It doesn't last forever. I mean, realistically, the incubation time is what, 21 days. And so realistically, after 21 days, the hen should naturally move on and stop being so broody and start laying again. You're going to be out 21 days of one chicken worth of eggs. Let her be broody. Let her just be a good mom for a minute and just do her thing. The number six reason is going to be food and proper nutrition. If a bird doesn't have everything they need in their diet, they literally cannot form the egg. <laughs> so food is going to be extremely important. If you aren't providing it to them, that will stop them from laying eggs altogether. A good quality feed for a laying hen is going to have anywhere between 16 and 20% protein. It's going to be enhanced with omega-3s, maybe some added prebiotics and probiotics, along with some calcium and magnesium. Most layer pellets or crumbles are going to have all of these things already for you. We also give our birds as a treat some black soldier fly larvae from Grub Terra, and these are packed full of protein and calcium and all sorts of good stuff, especially right now during the winter months. We give them a lot of that just for the extra protein and just kind of giving them some extra stuff to digest. But it also goes a long way in giving them the stuff they need to form the eggs. One of the most important things they need to be forming these eggs is going to be calcium. Think about it. The eggshell is just pure calcium, more or less. So what a lot of people do is they supplement with crushed oyster shells. This is going to give you some really nice, strong eggshells. I'll leave a link down in the description below for some good crushed oyster shells. This is something that you just give as a supplement with their normal food. It's kind of a treat. Just kind of sprinkle it around. As they eat these oyster shells, they can, they can digest that calcium and put it into to their eggshells. So if you're missing any one of these things in their diet and they are not laying for you right now, that's a good place to start. The number seven reason your chickens aren't laying eggs is because of water. Even if your birds go just a couple hours without water, that can trigger them to stop laying eggs because they go into survival mode. They need that water to be creating eggs, so make sure they have it. This can be a bigger issue in the winter time because in the winter time, you got your water freezing. Even with some of those waters, they're, they're gonna be freezing, your chickens can't be drinking out of them. So it's kind of harder to give them that fresh water. One thing we do is we just have this nice shallow dish that we put the water in in the winter time and yeah it's kind of frustrating because I got to go out there once or twice a day to make sure that I am dumping the ice out and refilling it with water so whatever your plan is just make sure that they have good fresh water constantly during especially during the winter but throughout all the months in general there's a lot of different chicken waters that people use depending on the season there's different kinds for the winter versus the summer i'm going to put a bunch of those down in the description below as well as a video that we did on our favorite chicken water that we use during the summertime but if you want your eggs they need the water the number eight reason your chickens aren't laying their eggs is molting and if you've never had chickens or you're new to chickens or even if you just maybe don't pay attention molting is something that's going to happen every year it normally happens in the late summer to the early fall and what they're doing is they're shedding off their 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 feathers they're gonna be dropping a lot of feathers and the first time i saw this i literally walked outside and i thought my birds were dead we get raccoons here and i thought a raccoon got to our chickens because there was feathers everywhere the neighbor complained about it we had so many feathers just all over the place it looked like a massacre but then i get into the coop and i've just got a bunch of half naked birds in there because they all drop their feathers when they go through the molting stage they're not going to be laying any eggs at all because all of their energy is going to be focused on regrowing those feathers they shut them all off they regrow them and it's kind of an excruciating process for them it takes a lot of energy so they can't be putting energy into laying eggs and you'll you'll know when it happens too because you'll go from getting you know however many eggs you normally get a day let's say you get 10 eggs a day you'll go collect your eggs one day the next day you're going to come outside and you will have zero it is just flip of a switch those birds just stop laying when they when they start molting there's nothing you can do about it it's completely natural let them do their molting they will be laying again I promise. Real quick, before we get into reason number nine, if you've been getting value from this video, go down and hit the like button. It sends our videos out to more people. I really appreciate it, thank you. Right after molting is when we hit the reason number nine, which is gonna be daylight. The most common reason that your chicken won't be laying eggs is the amount of daylight that you have. Chickens need roughly 14, 15 hours of daylight to be laying eggs. And normally at the end of the summer, the, you know, you're getting into the fall, your days start to, to shorten and, and winter is coming. The birds don't see winter coming as the temperature 
temperature dropping, they see winter coming as the change in the daylight. So as soon as those days start getting shorter, those birds are just gonna taper off and stop laying. Or if they do lay, it's gonna be just an egg here or there. You're not gonna get a whole lot of eggs at all. This is a completely natural thing. It happens every single winter. I know that some people say that if you get like a really heavy laying breed that they'll, they'll lay throughout the winter. But in our experience, we'll get a few eggs throughout the winter, but hardly any at all. In the wild, if a chicken was to lay an egg this time of year, that egg is gonna hatch. That chick isn't gonna live. It's gonna be way too cold for it to live. Well, the chickens instinctively know this. They are conserving their energy for themselves. They're not gonna worry about procreating and making more eggs. They are worried about keeping themselves alive throughout the winter. All the food they're eating, all the water they're drinking, everything is just to keep them alive throughout the winter. There are ways to get them to lay during the winter. And a lot of it is just generally good winter care of your chickens. We did a video on that. I'll put it down in the description. Generally taking good care of your chickens during the winter, it, it, it will help give you a few eggs here and there, but it's not gonna be anything like what you got in the summer. There is one way that will get your chickens to not necessarily lay at the level they did during the, the summer, but it will get them to lay throughout the winter. And that is adding supplemental lighting. So if you put a light on a timer, you have it turn on you know, a few hours before the sun comes up to equal that 14 to 15 hours of daylight they need in a day, that can trigger them to start laying eggs again. So a lot of people just put the light up in their coop, put it on a timer and they do that all winter long. But before you go get your light and your timer, just listen to me real quick. <laughs> the birds are not laying for a reason. They are resting for the winter. And if you force your birds to lay during the winter by adding some supplemental lighting, there are some issues that can arise with that. All I'm gonna say is if you are truly thinking about putting some, some lighting in your coop to, to get those eggs throughout the winter, do a quick Google search, do some research into it and see if it's right for you. Because for us, it's not, it's not right for us. We don't need those eggs as a food supply throughout the winter. A lot of people that have chickens, they are in a different different situation than we are. So I will never shame anybody for, for doing the whole light thing. It's just not really for us. So if you are thinking about doing it, just do a quick Google search and do some reading and find out if it's right for you. But before you do that, go watch this video right here. If you enjoyed this video here today, you're gonna enjoy this one too, I promise. Click on this video, head over there and watch it and I'll see you there.